again to my YouTube channel. Today I am in the biggest shoe making market we have in the whole of Nigeria. You guys, I'm about to shock you. I'm wearing a particular slippers and I came to this market and I'm seeing the Aba made. I bought this one. Look at it. I bought this one. I bought it at 4,000 Naira. This particular one I'm wearing now. Uh, at 4,000 Naira as a foreign ready-made brand and I came to this market and I'm seeing the same at design so you go look at what's the price you feel good sir and the other made is selling at one one they don't cheat me like this how much you I want it 4,000 4,000 eh for so safe and look at the exact about made here. If I say enough, I can't buy this one. No. And there's another black gold. You guys, there are so many pretty designs of slippers here. And it's just 1,001. Well, I bought my own for 4,000 Naira. They don't rip me. Oh. After buying all these raw materials you can see in this video, the craftsmen design, mark and cut out the designs on the raw materials manually and with machines. After which they start sewing, assembling accessories, gumming, smoothing and applying chemicals to the products. <laughs> <laughs> These processes are carried out by specialized individuals in the various sections of production as most times the people who cut and assemble are entirely different from the shoemakers themselves. Twenty years. Something years. Twenty something years. But in general, this is my family. I'm trying to get one. Two for 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 According to the man in the video, this exact stamping machine costs about 2 million naira in the market. And the machine also have different sizes. He talked about the smaller size that is about 1 million naira in the market. But then we all know the current economy of Nigeria and definitely those prices that he mentioned in this video would definitely have uh, been inflated due to the current struggle in the economy in Nigeria right now. <laughs> Twenty years. Something years. Twenty something years. But in general, this is my family. These people right here are the people who do the stamping manually. And funnily enough, they use popular brand names to brand the sleepers which of course was requested by the shoemakers themselves as you can see brand names like fendi hermes zara and whatnot <laughs> it's usually very funny to see when you see them in the market but then i feel like they have their reasons for branding them with these popular brand names <laughs> Thank you. 
So you guys, I also discovered this cotton factory inside the market and I decided to enter into the factory and know for myself what they actually do inside this place. Without that, we can't know. It cannot operate. It cannot operate this particular machine. Even Nepal can Okay, Nepal can power it. But it cannot work with Jen. And, and it consumes a lot of fuel, right? I mean, is it diesel? What do you guys use? Diesel. Power can. Three million naira only for one of these things. So you guys, after my time at the cotton factory in the market, I decided to explore other parts of the market to see the beautiful samples and end products these craftsmen are able to put out here for sale. I hope you enjoyed the remaining part of this video. If you haven't subscribed yet to my channel, please do want to click on the subscribe button, like this video, and yes, share this video to other people. This will help make YouTube recommend my videos to people who are also interested in this video. Thank you and enjoy the rest of the video.